The Pixar plot thickens. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be discussing how Onward fits into the Pixar theory. Holy toot of Zadar! How did you- I don't know, it just started! In 2012, John Negroni watched a Crack.com video suggesting that Pixar films are all connected in one shared universe. There are clearly familiar Earth landmarks in the Cars movies. The humans had to be there at one point, so the Cars had to have gotten rid of them. They killed them? No. Oh no, they just sent them away on a giant spaceship. Negroni elaborated on this concept with the Pixar theory, which he initially published in 2013. Several Pixar films have been released since then, although each has a clear spot in the theory's timeline. We're a home spot. The Good Dinosaur naturally occurs at the universe's beginning, while Inside Out and Coco are set in the 21st century. As for the recent slew of Pixar sequels, they obviously take place shortly after their predecessors. How does Onward fit into this expanding, intricate puzzle, though? Does Pixar's latest film destroy the theory or build upon it in magical ways? Here we go. Focus. Onward takes place in a world where magic was once a facet of everyday life, but it's since been overshadowed by advances in technology. In times of old, the world was full of wonder and magic. But times change. Instead of riding horses, motor vehicles are now the preferred choice of transportation. We might be out of gas. But it says we have a full tank. No, that doesn't work. Speaking of which, Barley Lightfoot's van, which he lovingly names Guinevere, has a Pegasus painted on its side. If that Pegasus looks familiar, that's because it previously appeared in another film, and we're not talking about Hercules. He's a magnificent horse with the brain of a bird. As YouTuber Jay Steele pointed out, this Pegasus is almost identical to the one on the bouncy castle from Toy Story 4. While it is hard to say if there's a deeper correlation between the bounce castle and Guinevere, magic would be the simplest explanation for why talking toys exist in this universe. Onward follows Barley and his younger brother Ian as they try to finish a spell that'll bring their late father back for one day. We've only got 24 hours to bring back the rest of Dad. We're going on a quest! The film's central themes of life and death are reminiscent of Coco, where a curse enables Miguel to visit the land of the dead. This isn't a dream, then. You're all really out there. You thought we weren't. Be it a guitar or a staff, enchanted items unlock a gateway between the living and the deceased in both of these films. Maybe Ian and Barley's father has crossed paths with Miguel's departed relatives. It also wouldn't be surprising if he's bumped into the characters from Pixar's next feature, Soul. Although that's a discussion for another day. What the? But if Onward is part of the Pixar theory, when exactly does it take place? The film's world is populated by elves, centaurs, manticores, and more, but there are seemingly no humans. At least not the kind you'd find in other Pixar movies. Morning! Morning! Thus, Onward is most likely set sometime after Wally, when humans abandoned Earth and went aboard the Starliner Axiom. The surface of the world is distinct from the sky or sea. Wow. The fine sea. According to one theory, another ship left Earth around the same time as the Axiom and crashed on a planet with magical properties. The human survivors adapted to the strange world, evolving into various supernatural beings over time. This would mean that Onward takes place on a different planet in the Pixar universe, hence why there are two moons. It's not a quest, it's just a really fast and strange errand. It's also been theorized that Onward is directly connected to Monsters, Inc., which is set towards the end of the Pixar theory. You mean Cory? She's over there. You have to admit there is a resemblance between Onward's mystical cast of characters and the citizens of Monstropolis. As a matter of fact, Dan Scanlon directed both Onward and Monsters University. Who knows, Mike Wazowski could be a distant relative of a Cyclops. As long as it doesn't come near us, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> ah! Ah! Monstropolis is a very modern city with no mention of magic. This may indicate that Onward takes place before Monsters University. By the time Mike and Sully are born, society has abandoned magic entirely in favor of technology. We're experts in the ancient craft of close-up magic. It's all about misdirection. If the ending of Onward was any indication, though, it's that magic is going to make a comeback. 
So perhaps Onward actually takes place after the Monsters movies, putting it at the end of the Pixar theory. But wait, how would we get from Monstropolis to New Mushroomton? This ties into one of the most interesting concepts of the Pixar theory. Mike and Sully's little buddy Boo grows up to become the witch from Brave, which takes place between the good dinosaur and the Incredibles. As the theory goes, the doors at Monsters, Inc. are really portals to different points in time, allowing monsters to travel back and collect children's screams and laughs that power the city. Searching for her monster friends, Boo sets out on a journey through time and winds up in 10th century Scotland where she masters magic. Wood can't be imbued with magical properties. I should know I'm a wee whittler of wood. The Pixar theory doesn't delve into what happened to Boo after Brave, but what if she finally found her way back to Mike and Sully? I won't be back till spring. Maybe Boo decided to live out the rest of her life in Monstropolis. Sure, humans aren't permitted to stay in the monster world. If Boo could transform Merida's mother into a bear, though, she could probably turn herself into a monster-like creature. So, a mop, a couple of lights, and some chair fabric. I'm not gonna fool anyone! Come to think of it, perhaps Boo has a spell that could solve Monstropolis's energy crisis for good. With Boo's magic serving as an alternative power source, monsters no longer need to rely on screams or laughs. From that point on, Monstropolis and other monster communities begin to rely on magic over technology. This is where Onward comes into play. I told them about the map, I told them about the gym, I told them about the curse. <gasps> I forgot to tell them about the curse! The what? <gasps> Your boys are in grave danger! The beginning of Onward could take place eons after Monsters, Inc. It's been so long that everyone's forgotten about the tech-savvy past in a world dominated by magic. Once the light bulb is invented, however, a new industrial revolution commences and magic becomes obsolete. This theory is in the same vein as the Battlestar Galactica finale, where the characters decide to abandon their advanced technology in favor of a more primitive lifestyle. Throughout the centuries, though, technology inevitably evolves with humanity, demonstrating how this has all happened before and it will happen again. Let a complex system repeat itself long enough, eventually something surprising might occur. Likewise, Onward could be seen as the film that brings the Pixar theory full circle. Of course, John Negroni has his own two cents on Onward's placement in the Pixar theory. While Negroni is still mulling over a few ideas, he believes that Onward occurs in between the events of WALL-E and Monsters, Inc., also A Bug's Life, which is shortly after WALL-E. Negroni added, quote, The monsters of Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University are part of the same society as the fantasy creatures we see in Onward. As Negroni sees it, Monstropolis is more modern due to its close links to the human world. Monstropolis is like contemporary America, while New Mushroomton from Onward has more in common with a European town grounded in rich history and folklore. If it's adventure you seek, you've come to the right tavern! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Given the numerous Easter eggs and little details hidden in Onward, we're sure that even more theories are going to surface over time. You got a problem, Shane? For example, Triple Dent Gum from Inside Out is apparently still around, meaning that catchy jingle will never leave. Yes, again. Also, those rocks in the background certainly look like something out of Brave, right? If Onward teaches us anything, it's that sometimes the journey is more important than the destination. Wherever this puzzle piece ultimately falls, the quest for answers is half the fun. It's totally a quest. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.